Hey everyone, in this video, we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of an array. Let's start. So what are the advantages of an array? The first advantage of an array is convenient way of storing data of same data type with same size. As we know that array only stores homogeneous data type. So if you are trying to declare an array of int, it will only store int as its value. If you are trying to declare an array of long or an array of boolean, it will only store values of boolean or long. I am not talking about Python or JavaScript. Python or JavaScript supports heterogeneous array. For C, C++, Java, it only allows homogeneous data type. So it's a convenient way of storing data of same data type with same size. If you are trying to initialize an array of int, let's say that the size of int is 2 byte, the array will only contain int of 2 byte. The next advantage is the element can be accessed randomly using the index number. So the main advantage of an array is you can search any value at O of one time if you know the index. So let's say that we have 99 at the fifth index. So we can easily write ARR of 5 then we will get the value because we know the index. If we know the index then we'll get the value at O of one time. Now array allocate memory in contiguous memory locations for its elements. So array is a contiguous memory management. So what do you mean by contiguous memory management? If we have 1000 at the first index as its address, the next index will be 1002 or will be 1004. It depends on the size. We are talking about 2 byte or we are talking about 4 byte. So the address or memory allocation will be sequential. So we will have 1000, 1004, 1008 and 1012. So this will be the contiguous memory allocation. But for linked list, it's continuous. We'll talk about the continuous memory allocation in linked list portion. Now, 2D arrays are used to represent matrix. So we can create a matrix using 2D array. So we can write ARR 2 then 4. So this is how we can declare a 2D matrix in array. So stacks, queues, tree, graph can be implemented using array. So we can use this abstract data structure using array. So we can implement stack, we can implement queue, we can implement tree, we can implement graph. So these are the things that we can implement using array. Now we'll talk about the disadvantage of an array. Size should be known in advance, so you must know the size of an array. So if you are trying to declare any array of 100 element, you must know that what will be the size. So if you don't know the size, then you cannot declare any element. I'm not talking about dynamic array. So using malloc and calloc, we can extend the blocks using malloc and realloc, we can extend the block, but I'm talking about the static array, not the dynamic array. Now size should be known in advance. Now, once it's declared, it cannot be modified. So once you declare an array of 100 element, you cannot extend the element. Your array will be 100. In this case, also I'm not talking about malloc and calloc. If you had declared any array using malloc, you can remove that memory. You can using free, you can remove that memory. Using realloc, you can extend the memory. So for normal array, you cannot extend the size or you cannot deallocate that memory. It will be static. Difficulties for insertion and deletion from array. So it's a bit difficult to, to perform the insertion or deletion in an array. So what you have to do, you have to perform some shifting. So memory shifting and time complexity problems will be there. Wastage of memory space. So you have declared an array of 100 sites, but you have used only 10 blocks. Then 90 rest blocks are there. So this is the wastage of memory. So in this video, we have discussed about that. What are the advantages and disadvantages of an array? So there are many advantages and disadvantages of an array. If you have anything in your mind except this, you can write in the comment section. See you in the next video.